So far, I have been demonstrating the use of completable features in Java 8. When Java 9 came out, there were some extra methods added to completable feature. So for now, in my project, I am using Java 11. Of course, if you use Java 9, that's still okay. So let's see what those features are. So for example, let's say you have a long process called get value. And get value takes some time. So let's see what sleep a little more and sleep a little does. So sleep a little sleeps for two seconds. Sleep a little more sleeps for five seconds. Now, what we call supply async, this operation is going to take some time before reaching then accept. Under normal circumstances, if I remove this and I run the program, it will immediately give the value and then the main thread will finish sleeping. So let's print out here. Okay. Now, what happens when we sleep a little more? What happens when we sleep a little more in get value? Of course, the main method will finish sleeping before the completable feature is done. Now, you can actually set a time limit on this completable feature such that if this get value takes so long, just use another value and forget about it. So if I come under here and I say complete on timeout, this will take a value that you're going to send if the time limit is passed. So for now, I'll pass 99. One that's representing one second so let me tell it so this is the value that we passed in once one second is passed so for this completable feature if it takes more than one second you forget about it and please pass 99 let's test that So you can see 99 was passed. This is useful in situations where you don't know how long something might take. So for example, a network call could take forever. So you need to give it a time limit. If this is taking so much time, please instead use this value 99. Of course, I can come and have a method public static int sub value turns a number let's say 89 so let's say instead of writing the value explicitly I have sub value something like that that returns a value for me to use in this case 89 you can have a main call if this call takes more than some seconds like it could be one second two seconds ten seconds please use this method instead please use this value you have your time limit, and if it doesn't complete in that time limit you give it a value now, you have a second option apart from complete on timeout. It's called or timeout. But this time, you don't give it a value. You just give it a time limit. And if that time limit is reached without getting a value, the whole thing will crash. So if you run this, it actually crashed. But you can see the error here so what I'll do is 
nine so you can see it here do you see completable exception completion exception timeout exception as you can see because of slept more than allowed this gave it a timeout of one second so which one should you use complete on timeout or or timeout it depends on your you know current solution and what your project needs i personally like complete on timeout if you're using java 8 you can't call them because they came in java 9 but it's good to have an idea of what's possible if you liked it give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next lesson where we will talk on combining the output of two completable features into one that's gonna be cool